This is George Chamalis from Rogue Genius. The following presentation is based on my experience as the technical lead on crisis mapping deployments for Pakistan, Sudan, and Libya. Operational crisis mapping combines the observations of citizens on the ground with the operational information being collected by response organizations in order to support the delivery of aid and assistance during a crisis. The operationalization of crisis mapping technology would require the implementation of three fundamental capabilities data fusion, source attribution, and automated alerts. Data fusion is the process of extracting knowledge from multiple sources, transforming it into standard, structured reports, and loading those reports into a crisis mapping platform. The fused data should be exportable, so it can be consumed in the standard formats that organizations are already using. Collecting the data is an important first step, but how can individuals and organizations in the field trust that data? One approach is to require that the organization collecting the data perform independent verification. This can be quite difficult to do at scale in a rapidly changing environment. An alternative approach is to retain the source attribution of the data as it undergoes the data fusion process. Source attribution can enable networks of trust between groups and individuals. Attribution supports trust between organizations, but those interacting with the platform will eventually be faced with information overload. Instead of requiring users to spend time querying the constantly changing data that has been collected, users can instead be alerted via email or SMS when information they are interested in is received by the platform. These alerts can be tailored to automatically trigger based on report proximity, category, and analysis. Together, these three capabilities can be utilized to implement operational crisis mapping. Thank you for your time.